The member for Maprik was available with his LLG presidents to hand over the district acquittal since taking office last year. As a first-time member, it was difficult to finish the acquittals on time as he says district officers didn't cooperate with him. I had a DA in there that couldn't cooperate. I had to change him and then we had another DA, the that, that another acting DA and he went the other way and they couldn't really assist me to complete my acquittal. Another concern he raised was the use of district funds by district administrators and treasurers without the consent of the district budget priority committee. Uh, our district treasurer and and uh, and DA seem to be using our, you know, accessing funds from the DSG without approval and without um, uh, getting the approval from the members. And I have had this situation in my district. Department of Implementation and Rural Development is aware of similar cases in other districts. Therefore, under a new guideline, penalties will be imposed. The deviation and all that, it must be endorsed by JDP BPC. And if they go outside that line, then we take the uh, legal action against them. And uh, all you got to do, remember, is report to uh, so we take an uh, audit of the account and where we know where it's gone wrong and we take the appropriate action for public servants we take the you know back under the public service management act and the finance and uh, it's the same with the contractors now satisfied with the acquittals the acting secretary paul sai presented a check of 250,000 kina each for continuous implementation of projects all right, sir. All right. Uh, Maprik District Administration is currently acquitting its DSIP funds. Bridget Komatep, National MTV News.